Hello, my name is Chanel. Welcome to my bookbinding studio. Today I'm going to make a book inspired by one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies, Spirited Away. Spirited Away was released by Studio Ghibli in 2001, written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki. It's about a 10-year-old girl named Chihiro who moves into a new neighborhood and finds herself entering the spirit world, which is based on Japanese Shinto folklore. Her parents are turned into pigs, and we follow her journey to save her parents and return to the human world. I don't really have the words to explain how incredible this movie is in every way possible. From the hand-drawn animation, to the music score, to the story. I'll be re-watching this movie for years to come. So I've got a journal here where I took notes when I was watching the movie. Um, I was trying to figure out what aspect of the movie that I would draw inspiration from. I think it's going to be the bathhouse. They provide the most detail, like exterior, interior, and all the activity that's happening, like from the basement all the way to the top um, at Yubaba's office. I want to um, definitely incorporate the color scheme of like um, gold trim, red siding, and of course I, I still want to make the whole book feel odd and magical and it's obviously like a different world because that's what I love about the movie is it really transports me to um, the spirit world. So I'm just going to do some sketches for some preliminary ideas and then I'm going to uh, play around with the book cover. I have my sketch for the front cover. Um, I'm not sure what to do with the back cover yet. I might just leave it blank. Um, but I feel like this is intricate enough to be challenging, but um, simple, simple enough to be able to do in one day. Let's grab the materials and start to build this cover.
So here's where I'm at with the cover. I wanted it to look um, quite layered, so I have um, a cream white textured background for everything to stand out. And then I have this like lettuce um, cardstock to um, replicate the traditional windows and doors that the bathhouse has. And then um, this red frame is just to just for um, to frame anything everything in. I was looking at some of the um, interior bridge details, all the railings, at least on the bathhouse side or the bathhouse floor um, is red with like gold uh, metal detailing. So I think I'll need to find a way to like put gold corners and um, and little details on, on the sides of the frame. Um, I think I need to go get gold paint for that. In terms of the binding, I'm going to just stick with Coptic binding. Um, the benefit of that, there's Lucy. The benefit of that is that I can make the cover independently and then I can bind it all together at the very end. There's also a lot of characters in the movie and so I just decided that no face had to be on it. Um, of course, the most iconic character. I read a comment that said no face is neither good nor evil and um, they're just kind of a, a reflection of who they meet and that's why No Face is kind to Chihiro and uh, Zeniba, but they reflected kind of the, the greed and hunger that the workers had when um, they were offered gold. I also read that No Face could be based off of um, like Japanese and or Chinese folklore where there's like hungry ghosts that will consume everything in its path and um, just never be satisfied with what they have.
So I was trying to figure out how to apply gold on the frame. There's a, there's a lot of different ways of applying gold on paper. I have this hot foiling machine that I got um, last year to try to stamp my books. I had really mixed results so I didn't actually end up using it for my products but it can um, create a brushed effect like a brushed gold effect that looks really cool so I'm going to keep doing that for the rest of the frame I just tried painting this little piece for this part over here. Um, I'm trying to replicate some of the murals that you see on the inside of the bathhouse. It just ended up looking pretty messy and I'm a little bit embarrassed by it. I was dreading this part of the design, um, so I'm not going to push my um, painting skills and I'm just gonna use chiogami paper to um, wrap the little square with it. It goes with the look anyway. There are murals of um, cranes and other natural elements um, on the walls anyway, so chiogami paper totally works. I should have thought of that sooner. Say goodbye to this little guy. I got so immersed in the next step that I forgot to record it, but here's the final cover. I um, ended up using um, this character, which means oil in both Japanese and Chinese. They say they share a character, and um, I went to Chinese school, so. I um, was kind of confident but uh, nervous to um, try to replicate it, uh, so I was practicing before I actually um, made this one. So the next step is to finish the back cover and then bind the book together. Does anyone know why they use the word oil for the bathhouse? Um, maybe it means something else in Japanese. Let me know if you know.
Here's the completed book. For finishing touches, I used my guillotine to chop off the edges of the text block and I put Mod Podge around the edges to protect it. I'm considering putting a protective coat on the front cover. I have some um, spray-on varnish that I could use, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, or we can just gush about how amazing this movie is. Um, let me know what your favorite character or scene is from the movie. I'm going to insert a final flip through of this book. I hope you enjoyed watching me put this book together. If you want to see more projects like this, let me know. Thank you for being here. I value your time, your thoughts, your support, and I'll see you next time.